If Jesus Christ was the Mr. Goody Two Shoes, and this little meek and mild, God bless everyone, sort of that type of, who would bother to crucify that? Whatever Jesus you believe in has to be the kind of Jesus who got people so angry. You see, we have a wrong view of Jesus. We have this effeminate hairdresser from San Francisco, white, pale, limp-wristed, flying around the room, and he wants romantic love from you. He wants you to sing, I love you, let me sit in your lap, tickle my ear, Jesus, that sort of thing. No, we're not interested in that. We're interested in the Jesus of the Bible. We're interested in full-blooded, masculine, Christianity, what Dr. Mark Lloyd-Jones called muscular Christianity. And you see, Christians need to understand the way of obedience is often hard. There's a great hymn, number 573, if you have a hymnal, that I'm sorry to say is not well known today because... Christians do not view themselves in terms of self-image as soldiers under a kick-ass Jesus who's a Marine. See, that we only have this hairdresser from San Francisco. He just nice. Please believe in me. Pretty please. And he scratches at the door of your heart <laughs> like a cat trying to get in. But you see, the older Christians, and we're following the flag of the king. The general of the Lord is on. King Jesus' his flag is on earth. We're going into battle. We are soldiers. An emotional answer, but that's the California answer. Whatever makes us feel good. Touchy, feely, huggy, licky, facey. And I feel, what do you feel, Dr. Murray? I said, irritated with you. <laughs> no, no, what do you feel about the heathen? See, if anybody says, what do you feel? I said, I don't have any feelings. I believe in truth. Ask for what I know about the heathen. I have no feelings except compassion to give them the gospel. The emotional answer. It doesn't matter what you believe as long as you are sincere. Jeffrey Dahmer was sincere as he cooked up those poor Vietnamese boys. And it doesn't matter what you believe as long as you are happy. The suicide bombers were quite happy to fly their planes into the towers on September 11. A God of love would never condemn the majority of mankind. It's a loving... That's the Wenham Brothers in a varsity press, a book entitled The Goodness of God, saying God is too good for there to be a hell. In a varsity press. So I'll see our Christian publishers on the highway to hell. Let me tell you, friend, anyone who thinks he's going to slip into heaven because God is a dolt, and he's an old grandfather with no, with no teeth, and the most he can do is gum you. <laughs> They're going to find out that Scripture says, Behold, saith the Lord, as a roaring lion, I will tear you to pieces, and there be none to deliver. I love the heathen. That's why I give permissions. That's why I... God called me to preach the word in season, out of season. I labor because I love people. They're on the way to hell. They need Christ. Somebody better tell them the truth. And the Christians today whip out because they want to be loving. Sensitive. That's the worst. Sensitive. If you look in a dictionary, sensitive is actually a negative term. Check it out. 